every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. He'll lift you up because his love never fails. It never gives up and never runs out of me. My daddy loves me with overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love. Watch out, he is coming. The Lord of the King of Military. He, he's, he can do all things, Lord. Thank you. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Through him, I am able to live according to his will. Abundantly, me. Thank you, Lord, for abundantly comforting me when it seems as if everything is corrupted and coming against me. Let them see, Father, in the name of Jesus, how much you've done for me. Help me count every blessing and name them one by one. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is ignorant to try and even comprehend. My God is one. There is no other. Amen. This is the day that my daddy made. Holy Spirit, help me rejoice and help me be glad in it. Amen. It's all Jesus. It's all prayer. Pray it up. Stay prayed up. Where well, I've been raised together and seated with Jesus over and above. All the principalities, powers, might, dominion, and every spiritual wickedness. I give the kingdom dominion up in this vessel. The ones with the tomb full of devils and demons. Now clean, purged by the blood of Jesus. Purged in the burning fire, red furnace. My God is the consuming fire. His presence is vital to me and hell to my enemies. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, let's see. TK. To me, who was less than the least of all saints, grace was given so I could live abundantly. Holy Spirit, fill up and empty this bit. This temporary vessel that's ordinary in and of itself But then again, if I'm created in your image And given the gift of knowing you for eternity Manifest the operative energy of your spirit That rose Jesus from among the dead Distribute the common wealth of the kingdom of heaven here on earth In Jesus' mighty name, crush the works Of the enemy coming against me Send them fleeings Fleeing <laughs> <laughs> fleeings, sin of fleeings. <laughs> Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, crush the works of the enemy coming against me. Send the demons and devils fleeing. Come out, come out, and be cast into the sea. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus who came to destroy the works of the devil. It's a command: be not deceived. By yourself, someone you love, no demon, no devil, no fast talking credential toting individual. Don't be deceived by religious deeds. Lord, thank you for the fact that you're in control and that all things are working together for good. The pain ain't pointless, it's all for a purpose. Holy Spirit, I'm pleading with shameless persistence. Give me strength to resist going my own way, cause what is not a faith is sin. And I confess I yearn to be with you. I pray for discernment. I seek the truth. Jesus, please, my cause. My advocate knows that it's hard to count it all joy whenever I fall into the midst of trials. Knowing that the approving of my faith is being put to the test. Producing patience which bears up and doesn't lose heart or courage under trial. I'm called and given the authority to, of Jesus to drive out evil spirits and to heal every sickness and disease. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is here. The Lord of the heavenly hosts, king of military, they fear him. My God is a consuming fire. I trust in him with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding. Holy Spirit, help me acknowledge you in all my ways so you can direct my paths. I rely on your mighty hand. I depend on your comforting grasp. I am confident in your counsel. I'm demanding your supernatural intervention right now, daddy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So now we'll go to Hannah's prayer in 1 Samuel chapter 2. Okay. So this is after her prayer was answered. And from what I've learned is God, you know, he was preparing a king. Um, he couldn't he, he couldn't do things in her or until her she was ready in her heart. And was willing to like for with Hannah she said if if you give me a child I will dedicate him to you so um father thank you 
for the fact that you're in control and that all things are working together for good for your name's sake. So let's just move on to the prayer. I don't want to ramble on. Holy Spirit, please guide me as I read. Give us knowledge, understanding, and wisdom about the kingdom and God's will for us. Because we are, because I'm speaking, I'm reading, I'm feeding my spirit the word of God and God willing. Anyone else, past, present, or future, um, giving them sustenance, substance with meaning, nothing but Jesus, substance with meaning, sustenance to their being, nothing but Jesus, amen, so then Hannah prayed and said, this is 1 Samuel chapter 2, she said, my heart rejoices in the Lord, and the Lord my horn is lifted high, my mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Do not keep talking so proudly or let your mouth speak such arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows and by him deeds are weighed. The bows of the warriors are broken, but those who stumbled are armed with strength. Those who are full hire themselves out for food. But those who were hungry, hunger no more. She who was barren has borne seven children, but she who has had many sons pines away. The Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and raises up. The Lord sends poverty and wealth. He humbles and he exalts. He lifts up. He raises the poor from the dust and he lifts the needy from the ash heap. He sets, he seats them with princes and has them inherit a throne of honor. For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's. Upon them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his saints, but the wicked will be silenced in darkness. It is not by strength that one prevails. Those who oppose the Lord will be shattered. He will thunder against them from heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Amen. So that was... 1 Samuel chapter 2 verses 1 through 10 and that's Hannah's prayer because God answered her prayer and she, man, she cried out to the Lord, it's beautiful, read 1 Samuel chapter 1 and, uh, and then the Lord was, I was looking up the Chronicles the Chronicles, what was the Narnia? We're on the chronic, what goes in Narnia? <laughs> I got a joke. Cause don't get too serious, cause the beat's playing. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Okay. Well, thank you for this day. So, first chronicles, I think we're going to 19. Lord, Holy Spirit. Grab me as I read. Got me as I feed my spirit, the word of God. It's time to eat. It's time to feast. Amen. Sit down and eat if you want to eat. If not, you're going to S-T-A-R-V-E. Okay. Um, verse 19. Okay, Lord, thank you for the day. And give for a second time to this. The second chronicles is Narnia. He's smoking that chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Give thanks to the Lord for his love and endures forever. Amen. Okay, here. Let's see. Second chronicles 20. Okay, Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord and in front of the courtyard and said, O Lord, God of our fathers, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can withstand you. O our God, did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? 
They have lived in it and have built in it a sanctuary for your name, saying, If calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and will cry out to you in distress, and you will hear and save us. But now, here are men from Ammon, Moab, and Nasir, whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and did not destroy them. See how they are repaying us by coming to drive us out of the possession you gave us as an inheritance? O oh, our God, will you not judge them? Beautiful. For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Amen. That's first. Second Chronicles. The second chronicles of what? Narnia. <laughs> okay, second chronicles 20. I got a joke, all right? Don't get too serious, man. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you, he may lift you up. Amen. God resist the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. And I confess, Father, in the name of Jesus, that I've been proud these past few days. My heart's been hurting, and I've been getting agitated, frustrated, constipated in my brain. And all that you did was just bring more frustration, Father. Thank you for reminding me, Holy Spirit. That's all. You can't grow without the Word. Amen? So, 2 Chronicles 20. Um... So verse 6 through 12. So, but look at these last two verses of this. Oh, our God. Okay, so after he says, will you not judge them? For we have no power. So they prayed all this. They, and then we have no power. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have no power to face this vast army that is attacking me. Whether it's, well, no matter what it is, it's, it's life in general so see what he says this vast army is attacking us we do not know what to do but our eyes are upon you and i was reminded last night to you know god's sufficiency is all i need grace god's resources at christ's expense salvation is by grace to be faith by faith of grace salvation is by faith of grace so we got that grace faith I got that grace for you. <laughs> yeah. <'cause, laughs> and that's a glory. That reminds me of, <laughs> of Moses when he put a veil over his face. But that but that glory was fading. And this, ooh, I could go on. But we as reflecting as in a mirror. We reflecting as in a mirror. The glory of the Lord are being transformed from glory to glory. And that's by the power of the Lord. Amen. I just read that the other day. Amen. Um, so, Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that the reason Jesus came was to destroy the works of the devil. Satan was put in his place beneath our feet. My king didn't have to leave, do what he did. Jesus didn't have to leave eternity. He didn't have to leave the glory. He didn't have to leave his glory. He didn't have to leave the kingdom of heaven. He chose to expose the works of the devil and make a public spectacle of the spirit that now works in the sons of disobedience. Jesus told Jesus chose to sh <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> dish up, dish up, dish <laughs> Okay. Jesus told <laughs> Jesus chose to suffer the shameless punishment I deserved. <laughs> he chose to take the wrath of my daddy upon himself. He chose to be separated from the Father on my behalf, the last Adam, condemning sin in, sin, oh Lord, thank you. condemning sin in the flesh, overcoming by the power of the Holy Spirit. My God is one, there is no other. It's ignorant to try and even comprehend. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord, cross and expose the works of the enemy coming against me. Send them fleeing. I plead the blood of Jesus that washed me. His presence, the Garden of Eden, feasting. No fake fig leaves of false peace. No temporary satisfaction. I'm glad Jesus set me free. The Lord is my hiding place. He preserves me from trouble. He shall surround me with songs of deliverance. 
just take a minute and reflect on this evidence now look at the next few verses and how my father's will is to produce his character in his child this is psalms 32 7 i just read verse 7 this is 7 through 9 so the lord is my hiding place i tell him my hiding place my hope 